Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests are the definition of power couple. She's killing the acting game one role at a time, and he's a real estate mogul. Together, they are teaching black families about accumulating wealth. Please welcome newlyweds Jay Morrison and Ernestine Johnson, now Morrison. Yay! Hey, ladies. Hey, girl, hey. You better be cute in this morning. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, How are you? How are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, 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 Jay. Hey. <laughs> Have a seat. How you doing? Now, Welcome to the circle. Hello, darling. Girl, when you was here last time, you was just engaged. <laughs> now you are Mrs. Ernestine Johnson Morrison. Morrison. How yes. does it feel? What is the difference? Mm. You know, I'm just over here living life married. And I say, yeah, I say, 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 thing yeah um, it feels really good you know I, I always tell Jay like the day we got married I just felt more deeply in love with him Aww. like it was a new energy just sparked and um, we're really happy well, you guys look beautiful Thank I saw you. some of the pictures look at you just gorgeous mm. That's me. you guys look amazing <laughs> thank you so you guys are really the definition of the power couple like talk to us about this real estate fund the Tulsa real estate fund like why Tulsa where did it come from like Tell the people. Yes, yes. There, there's a legendary community uh, called T in Tulsa, Oklahoma, called Black Wall Street, which is a real thing. Which mm -hmm. is a real thing. It's not a it myth. Was, it was it was built in 1905 yeah. by O. W. Gurley. Over mm -hmm. 36 square blocks of over 2,000 homes and businesses, yeah. all black owned. Mm -hmm. It was bombed and burned down in 1921. And as we saw the uh, economic conditions of our community, how we could pull our dollars together to rebuild self-sustaining communities, we want to pay homage to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that Black Wall Street community. And so when we launched this first ever black-owned real estate crowdfund in the history of our country, mm. we had the name at Tulsa, because this is an opportunity for mm -hmm. us to pull our dollars together where we can control our community, stop gentrification, and we can invest together all for as little as $500. Yep. And awesome. you raised $9.6 million. Well, actually, in the first seven days, we raised $10 million. Oh, come on now. And now oh, we're at $12 receipts. million. Dollars. Yes. Yes, of that capital is, raise commitments. Yes. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, my God. And speaking of finances, um, how did you guys discuss or decide how are you gonna how are you going to navigate uh, your finances mm -hmm. while you're a married couple? You know what? It was shortly right before we got married and Jay was like, you know what, let's just have the conversation. I'm like, what right. conversation? It was our last conversation. It was our last conversation. Was he was like, one. let's just have the conversation. I'm like, what conversation? He's like, right. finances. He's like, what you got? And I was like, this is what I have. Right. What do you got? He's like, this is what I have. Okay, cool. Oh, it was <laughs> that easy. So can you, well, it what? was very simple. I mean, we didn't make it a, we didn't make it something that was going to be challenging or something that was going to be super complex and hard. We just mm -hmm. were honest and like, this is what this is what it looks like. This is what I look like, and this is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. So, so what advice then? Yeah. Is, what advice would you give to couples that are maybe engaged and they're about to, you know, jump the broom? What should they, you know, what's the one principle that they should have when it comes mm -hmm. to finances? Well, be very transparent about where you at, where you, you know, where you're at with your finances, mm -hmm. and how you guys see building your family legacy. Mm -hmm. So we got a little cheat sheet because we hold workshops and lectures and right. corner classes all mm -hmm. the time. So we both are financially literate, but mm -hmm. as a as a couple, really see, you know, how much do you know about building wealth? How right. much do you know about building wealth? What do you have? What do you have? And how do we multiply this for our last name? Mm -hmm. Right. So was anything that she said to you scary? Like this is what I have and this is what I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what I bring it to the table. I'm not necessarily in the black. Exactly. <laughs> I got three dollars. How many you got? Right. right. <laughs> No, actually, it was really encouraging because, you know, through the success of her career, uh, as, as beautiful as she looks and as much fun as we have, she's very frugal like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. and so we both save a lot of money. We're both regularly fi financially astute. And so it was really a match where we're like, okay, we're going to live a fun and, and healthy and abundant life, but we're going to make sure that we leave as much wealth behind mm -hmm. for our kids, kids, kids. Oh, I love that. And continue last to build that. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the Morrison last name. Mm -hmm. Now, Jay, you have been, you've actually overcome a lot of obstacles. I have, yes. Um, and, you know, starting out just hustling trying to get you know get it get it popping but yes. now you are turning into a real estate mogul mm -hmm. um, what were some of the things that you did to overcome some of these obstacles first things I prayed mm -hmm. by the grace Come of God on, I'm here and able to do this Hallelujah. Um, but you know I was a welfare kid section 8 kid high school dropout and a three-time felon served mm -hmm. two and a half years in prison mm. no college education by 25 I turned it around not because of a PhD or MBA or some kind of letters behind my name, but I got this financial education mm -hmm. on how to buy real estate, how to own homes, how to leverage credit, mm. how to buy multifamily apartment buildings, all these things that we just didn't learn at home right. or didn't learn in high school. 
Mm. And so that's why we give those things back in the Jay Morrison Academy and, and those skill sets and, and strategy, we call it strategy based, uh, allowed me and us to start to build wealth. Well, nice. we are so proud of you here down to the circle and we thank, thank you. you guys for coming thank here um, and sharing your story. For more information on the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, go to TulsaRealEstateFund.com and the conversation always continues at SisterCircleTV.com. We are back on Sister Circle Live with newlyweds Jay Morrison and Ernestine. So before the break, we actually discussed um, you making your first million the legal way. Yes, now, we know you was a street hustler, you, as you said. So talk to me about how you changed your life and what would be your advice for those watching at home on how to take their life from the streets or... Yeah, so at, take at approaching 25 wife. years old, I was still hustling in North New Jersey, and I had to ask myself, you know, Jay, where are you going to be when you're 30? Mm -hmm. And I only could imagine myself being dead or in jail. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that mm. life story for myself. Right. That's right. So I'm like, if you don't like this ending, then you need to do something different. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I had never given anything 100% of my attention other than the streets. Mm -hmm. So wow. I had got introduced to mortgages at 22 years old while on parole, the mortgage industry and real estate industry. I said, what would happen if I take my talents, my gifts, my charisma, my charm, my swag, right. my hustle, my hustle. <laughs> right. to, to the real estate industry 100% mm -hmm. all in? What would happen? And so I, I started in the mortgage industry, bought my first house 100% yep. financing, a two-family home. Got another property, another property, got my yep. real estate license, and dove all in. And in three years, made my first million in the industry. And now I've been very I successful. I tell people all the time, because I'm a real estate agent also, I got my license to sell myself my home so, so mm -hmm. I can keep that commission. Get your own commission. I know that's right. Right. own commission. Mm -hmm. Okay. That license ain't easy to get, though. But it's not that hard. Y'all not... play too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got two, okay? <laughs> well, you guys have also done something amazing called the Black Wealth Weekend. Yes. Yes. Talk to us about the Black Wealth, Wealth Weekend, and, and what did that do for the community. It was so amazing. We just finished yesterday. We had a, we started, we kicked it off with our Black Wall Street Ball Friday night, and mm -hmm. then we had a two-day wealth conference. And our whole thing is, our mission is wealth building mm -hmm. and wealth creating. And we, we, I think we, as a people, we live for right now, mm -hmm. yeah. in my next check, in my yeah. next big payday. Yeah, and what sure. Jay and I are trying to push is a narrative of generational wealth. We yes. have to stop the generational curse and build generational wealth. So yep. it was and an amazing two day, three day weekend. And, and stop living for the Joneses when the Joneses ain't your last name. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Start making the sacrifices <laughs> right. and do things for your last yep. name. Start living for your legacy. And so that's what we've been you know, mm -hmm. preaching and teaching all weekend. And it was Ernestine's creation, the Black Wall Street Ball. Everyone came out, 170 people. Nice. Dressed to the T, right. all black in front of the Cab County Courthouse, and it was a it was a Black Wall Street esque yeah, it was feeling. So nice. awesome. You felt like history was happening. It was so elegant and so sophisticated, and everyone was excited about it. I love this because I know that we didn't we didn't have talks in our families growing up about you know uh, wealth and mm -hmm. financial literacy. So this is actually excellent. Mm -hmm. um, Ernestine, we know that you're an actor. Yes, I am. Um, you have a lot going on. I do. Talk to the people and us included. Um, what's happening in your career? So right now I'm really excited. I'm shooting a pilot, a new pilot next week about oh, black, pilot? black. Yes, pilot. Let's get it picked up. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. um, about black women who struggle with um, infertility. Okay. And I didn't know that it was such a huge thing, but many, many black women um, struggle with infertility and they're ashamed about it. So mm -hmm. we're shooting a pilot um, called Black Girls Guide to Fertility next week. I'm super, super excited about that. Nice. And I'm also hosting workshops. Being that we're here in Georgia and this is one of the top three um, states for film and television, I'm hosting workshops how to fund your film. Because mm -hmm. a lot of us want to do projects and shoot our own talk shows and shoot our own films and we don't have the funding. So I'm all about power and control now. Like yes. let, let's, let's not just get cast in projects, but let's produce our own projects. So Own our content. Own our own content. Mm -hmm. Owner be owned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well you guys are the shining mm -hmm. example of uh, black love and yes. excellence. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but speaking of which, black love and black excellence, we got to get all in your black business. Oh, oh nice. no. Let's go. Black, black business. business. Let's, Let's go. Let's play a newlywed <laughs> game because oh. we want to know what's really going on down to the wedding and down all to right. the marriage. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask questions mm -hmm. and then you're going to put up your answer. Oh, this okay. is yours. Yep. Okay. And then you're going to put up your answer. Okay. 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 So, so the first Kiana's question is going to go with the question. Jay, what is Ernestine's favorite food? Mm. I put it up or she guesses. Well, you we both at the same time. So, anything with hot sauce. <laughs> that is <laughs> <laughs> Grab her eat. Grab her eat. <laughs> All right. So, Ernestine, the next question is, what side of the bed did Jay sleep on when you guys first met? Closest to the door, closest to the door. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to be close to the door? Hey, so I'm happy. I got to handle business. <laughs> okay, okay. So the next one. Where were you guys when you had your first date? 
restaurant okay. in Chicago, Pizza Spot. That goes hand in he hand. He just didn't remember what they were eating. He just, he just know where pizza they were. Spot. It was a pizza spot in Chicago. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that works. And what was Ernestine wearing on your first date? Oh, you better know that. They didn't ask me that. Well, they said, go. black money makes <laughs> black money. Black money matters. <laughs> we both had on black money matters. Oh, we did. Yeah, we both had a black money matters line. We worked. <laughs> okay, well, it works. Okay. Who's the biggest tipper? <laughs> well, <Aww. laughs> you are just too cute for TV. I can't even deal with this couple. They are just ridiculous. I have to go home and talk to you. Right. I have to go find me one. Yeah. You me a good Jay. It's out there. I'm telling you, it exists. It is out there. Well, where, where are they at, girl? Listen, listen. <laughs> you don't ask. You don't ask for it. You know, I did not ask God to send me Jay. I said God prepared me to be a wife. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Don't ask for it. You ask Him to prepare you for mm -hmm. it. Come yep. on, did you get that can? I, I got, got that I got all that tea <laughs> and the <laughs> shade. <laughs> and the shade. Well, Jenny Ernestine, thank you so much thank again you. for being with us today thank and for all of the work you are doing in the community. Thank you. We absolutely, absolutely love you guys. All the best with your marriage. And